Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ohio Richlands. I was just checking up on the grass thinking it was maybe ready, but not quite yet. We're still a little bit hay from last year. I did check the... Uh, well you can see it there in the potential yield on the bottom right. It's 19.43 tonnes per hectare. I have written that down. I'm going to see if that amount changes, I would imagine, tomorrow or the 1st of April. We should get the second stage of growth. I'm going to see if that 19.43 tonnes a hectare changes because that'll tell me exactly if, if, if we're going to get more yield if we wait until the second stage or wait until now and cut it. If it's identical tonnes per hectare, we'll just cut it from now, from now on. There isn't any Angus cows though. We haven't had uh, last month and this month. I think January was the same actually. I've got a list of what we sold as well because we did sell quite a few things between the last episode and now because obviously we've skipped ahead a few months. Uh, so at the start of this clip you'll see a very snowy start to the year. Then we had a pruner arrive on the farm so we got the grapes all pruned up and ready. Uh, that cost us $16,000. Uh, in January as well we sold 3,000 litres of chocolate. We got $6,467 for that. We sold 25,732 litres of eggs, which gave us $30,345. Uh, we also moved some grass bales up to the sheep area. And last month, uh, February 1st, we got 500 chicks. So now, if we check in here, we now have 5,000 chickens in here and they're gonna go through the feed quite quickly. We also sold, uh, on the 2nd of February, we sold another 29,130 litres of eggs for $26,239. And we've already got 7,700 litres of eggs. So they're producing eggs really quickly. So I think that is going to be a money maker. Uh, we also got 30 lambs in one of the pens not too long ago. Uh, this one here, last month in fact, on the 1st of February. So we got another 30 lambs. We are going to be selling some today. Anything over $600 in value, we're going to sell. There's also quite a few. There's a set of 30 here at $725. I don't know if we're going to beat that. I think, oh no, we've got $3,800 and $750. So yeah, we're going to make quite a bit of money. There's another set here, $775. So yeah, the plan is to make a lot of money today because we need to put in grapevines and we need to do it kind of today. We need to buy that field as well. So I'm hoping we've got enough money to do it. If not, we're going to buy the field and put in as grapevines that we can and not take out a loan because I don't want to do that. Worst case, we can wait until next month, which is the start of April, and we're going to have all that clothes to sell because I know we've got almost $200,000 worth of clothes sitting there, um, well, between there and down at the factories. Uh, but today, I think we're going to get all the fabric moved about, sell all the chocolate again, take clothes back to the yard and we need to feed the animals and also move these pallets of honey because we are getting quite a big stock of them now. Uh, we could probably get away with selling all of the wool we've got here as well. That's another thing to do. Yeah, plenty of clothes. And there's still, there must be two or four pallets down at the production area as well. And we need to get rid of this pallet of wool as well. We're getting through the hay and the grass. That pile is almost gone. We've got one bale left. Uh, this should be grass as well. Yes. So we have plenty of grass to keep the sheep going. So what we really need to do, I think, is make some hay. And then this this will be the second cut we've done in this field. So after that, we need to move this into either corn or soybeans because they get planted next month. Corn is April and so is soybeans. Yeah. And then grapes is obviously this month, so we need to get the sheep sorted out now. So I think first up, we're going to go and sell that sheep, get them done, and come back down here and feed all the animals. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Well, that's us up here now, so let's get these sheep sold. Anything over $600 in value. There's going to be different amounts. Well, we've only got two of them. I need to keep an eye on the fees as well, because we need to put back in the money that we've taken out. So I'll go and do that, see how much we've got all of each of them, and then come back to you with the final figure. Well, that's us sold all the sheep. 
So it was $8,250 worth of transport costs that we still need to put back in actually. And $109,250 in, sh in sold sheep, which gives us $117,500 in total. So I'm gonna go and add that 8,250 back in for the transport, and then we will go down and see our production area, then go back and feed the animals. Well, that's us just back in from fertilizing that three fields. We had field nine, 11, and 29. Let's complete them just now. So field nine, $11,242. Field 11, $14,350. And finally field 29, $6,898. There's a couple more contracts, but we're gonna leave them just now and head back for a sleep and see you in the 2nd of March. If there's nothing to do, we're gonna jump forward into April, sell all the clothes and then see about this vines for the grapes. But before we go, we spent $1,713 to repair the 7810, uh, $7,200 on six pallets of liquid fertilizer, and we got $9,619 for the 5,000 liters of chocolate we sold earlier on. So we're gonna get some sleep and we'll see you all in the morning. Well, that's us back from fertilizing field 25. That contract came through. That was worth $21,727. Let's complete that just now. There we go, field 25, complete that. So we now got 292,000 in the bank. We need to see about that field tomorrow. We also sold uh, 21,510 liters of eggs. We got $17,721 for it. Uh, all the wool from all the pens we sold got $33,550. We also spent $1,193 to repair the sprayer. Uh, tomorrow we need to fertilize both our barley fields and see about the clothes as well. There is, if we check just now, it is at a kind of high price just now at the campground restaurant, $10,249, which is actually slightly above the highest price. I was debating whether or not to sell it today, but obviously March is down here. So if it's at 10,000 and it's peaked already, tomorrow is gonna to be even higher. If not, we're gonna lose a little bit, but that's just with me gambling that tomorrow is gonna to be higher. Well, it's meant to be, but I suppose we're only gonna know in the morning, aren't we? Right, I'm gonna get some kip just now and we'll see you first thing in the morning where we've got to go and plant the soybeans and corn, cut this grass, get ready and uh, fertilize both barley fields, get the clothes sorted out, buy the other field and get grapevines and sell 10 Angus cows. So very busy day indeed tomorrow. So we'll see you first thing in the morning. Well, bright and early seven o'clock on April 1st. Let's take a quick look at something though. It's jumped up past the amount it was yesterday, $10,245. It's still, it's still above. It's actually right, uh, raised in price, but it's gonna fall again. So we need to go and get that sold, but also let's check the store. Another combine. How very tempting it is, but I don't know. We need to go and get this clothes sold. Um, we're gonna have more than enough money to buy it, but we still need to get the grapevine sorted out. We still need to buy the other field. Uh, we should have 10 Angus cows, so let's go and get them done first. There's no other animals to sell. We've also got the eggs to get rid of. But first, we need to check on this. So the potential yield is still the same, 19.43 tons per hectare. So I think it's the same regardless of whether or not you cut it yesterday at the earlier stage or now. I've always thought this produced more that's just going by the field info on the bottom right there. That may be wrong and it may not update when this new growth, because it is, it's definitely higher. So I would assume there is more, 
but I'm unsure of that. I might have to do a bit more digging. That's maybe not as accurate as we would like. But let's get these sold. We'll just double check to make sure we do have, yes we do. Because there's been a couple of months now. In the start of this year, we haven't got any. So there we go, 27 months. We can sell that 10, so $31,250 in the bank. We'll add the $1,000 of transport later on. Um, but now, let's go and get the trailer loaded up. Take it down, let's check where's the best price. Campground restaurant, right, okay. Um, maybe not best going in there with a big trailer. Um, but we need to sell eggs as well because there's going to be quite a lot of them. Let's just have a look to see what we're sitting with. Oh no, six, oh, because we sold yesterday. Yeah, maybe we don't need to sell the eggs then. Um, well, maybe load up this trailer here. What tractors have we got? We'll climb up here. Right, we'll go get the tractor. Seven R should be in here, still hooked up to the, uh, it is, the auger wagon thing. Right, we'll go and get this hooked up, load up all the clothes, go down to the production area, get any clothes from there, and then sell them all. So we'll see you in just a minute for a massive payday. Well, we've got a worker out on our field cutting the grass just now because there's a lot to do today. But we've got 26 pallets of clothes, 26,000 litres. This is gonna be quite a big payday. We're still at about 10,200 odd per thousand litres. So this is gonna break into $500,000, I think. So $267,225 in total, and we did, we broke right through 500,000. We're at $584,550 in the bank. That's absolutely phenomenal. Right, I'm gonna head back because we need to start getting this. Uh... In fact, I could maybe see if I can get hold of somebody else for today as well, that would be very handy. Because I need somebody to ted the grass. Oh, the trailer snapped really quick as well. We need somebody to ted the grass, then we need to get a baler around it. I'm probably going to end up doing the baling as well later on today. But for now, we need to go and see if we can get hold of this field as well. Because that will need to be cut because it is a grass field. So we're going to go do that. We're going to get a worker set off with the smaller tractor and the tedder to get it ready for hay. And the other field that we're going to buy, we're going to probably cut that for, I think, just grass and just bale it up. Uh, that's probably going to work best because out of this field here, we're going to have quite a lot of bales of hay. Uh, and we've got quite a stock just now as it is. Uh, if we have a look in. Yeah, I'm not sure how many we're going to get off it. But it's going to fill up that side of the shed anyway. And we have... I don't know how much is there. It's not quite the same as there, I don't think. And then we need to keep the straw this time as well. We can't sell the straw because we don't have much left. Right, we are going to leave this here because we need to go and get hold of a worker and he is going to go and ted that field to get it ready and then we'll send them up to the other field but in the meantime we're going to take the pickup and go and check out this field to see if we can get it purchased.
Well, it's just up here at the new field that we purchased. You will see the money has decreased massively. Uh, we spent $5,382 to repair the 8R, $12,339 to repair the 7R, uh, $6,400 on eight bags of seeds for the corn and soybeans, which have now been planted. Uh, we cultivated the grass field after baling that, uh, tedding it, windrowing it, baling it. It's all stored away now. We got plenty of bales off of that. I think it was, um, was it three full trailer loads and a little bit more. We also did some fertilizing contracts, which we completed because they usually disappear because it's a new day for me in real life from this recording compared to the last clip. And usually the contracts all disappear. And we're going to take a run down to the end of these grapevines though to show you how long they actually are. A lot bigger. I think the other ones must stop somewhere here, I think. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a distance to go. But yeah, so the fertilizing contracts we took on field 19. $8,748, field 23, $6,529, and field 27, $14,650. So we purchased this field. We've cut the grass already uh, just as grass and build up, and that's over at our sheep pens over in the other field to keep them topped up to save us taking from our yard. There is still little bits there, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the field itself here, still goes on just a little bit down to here. It was $126,716. We spent $241,920 to put this grapevines in. So not far off our original quarter million dollar total that we would have wanted to put in. I was gonna keep going down to the end of the field, but my issue is I can't remember how much grapevines we could get up and down in the other bit with the harvester until it was full. And I thought if I stop here, it's about $20,000 per row. But if I stop here, I'll kind of gauge to see how full the harvester is, if we can actually keep going. Because the last thing I want to do is, you know, the harvester be full here. We've only got a little bit to go, but if I continued it to the end of the field, we've got to drive all the way out to come all the way back up the way harvesting to then have to drive all the way out of the grapevines again, not doing anything. So I need to figure out the length compared to the harvester capacity first before I really take it much further. I don't know if I've actually pushed my luck with that because as you'll see with the thumbnail, it is quite a distance for these vines. I, I think I've maybe actually pushed it too much to be honest, but we're gonna find out. I also spent $47,000 on a brand new grape trailer, uh, the MRWK 14500, which is a 14,000 500 liter capacity but for now we are going to head back and get a sleep and jump into tomorrow we've got everything we wanted to do today we've got the grapevines all sorted it says it needs plowed so we may have to do that tomorrow because it's only the 2nd of april we've still got another month of the grapevines being in the harvest uh, the um the planting season that mirror is right in the way there so yeah, we're gonna jump into tomorrow, but I think we're gonna leave the episode there. We've done quite a bit. We've gotten the corn down, soybeans are planted in, we've fertilized our fields, we've done some fertilizing contracts. And the big thing, the new field is bought. We've actually cut it for grass, bailed it up, and we've put quarter, almost quarter of a million dollars of grapevines on it. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much we've got uh, come harvest time. Hopefully, this means we can get the, I wasn't paying attention there, Hopefully it means we can get the cereal factory. Uh, towards the end of this year, once we harvest the grapes, we can see where we stand. Uh, oh no, it's gonna be, no, it will be this year because corn is the same year it's harvest. So yeah, hopefully later on this year, we'll get the cereal factory up and going. The only place is where are we are gonna put it? Because if we put it down at the production area, it's gonna cost us about $35,000 just to rent a piece of land or to buy a piece of land, sorry. But for now, Let's head back, get some rest, and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow for the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and some good progress today. So we'll see you again for the next one very soon. Thank you all very much for watching.